Don't you dare call this a sound bar. This is a sound box, apparently. Now, if you live in the UK like I do, then you'll probably know what Sky TV is. I'm using it here, and it's basically a satellite TV broadcaster, a bit like Direct TV in the US. Anyway, they've made a sound bar, sorry, a sound box. This is the Sky Sound Box. If you're a Sky TV or a Sky Q customer here in the UK, this will cost you £300. For everyone else, though, it'll cost you a whopping £800. So if you don't live in the UK and you're not a Sky customer, well, it's gonna be pretty tough to get your hands on one. But before you skip to the next video because you think this doesn't apply to you, well, stick around because actually, not only is this a really good soundbar for the price, but also it's really interesting to see a TV broadcaster teaming up with a French audio company to produce their own in-house hardware, their own soundbar. You don't really see that very often. So I've been using Sky Q for the past few months, which is their fancy new 4K service, and they asked if I wanted to try out the new sound box. Sky's teamed up with French audio company DVLA, known for their pretty high-end phantom wireless speakers. And what's surprising is given their audio pedigree, they've teamed up with Sky to produce this sound box, which costs as little as 250 pounds. Unboxing it for the first time, it is surprisingly compact. It's less than 40 centimeters wide, but it is pretty tall at 9.5 centimeters, which means depending on what TV you have and how tall it stands off your cabinet, it may actually obscure the bottom of it. On my 2017 Samsung QLED, it just reaches the bottom bezel. So at best, it looks a little bit odd, and at worst, it could actually get in front of your TV screen. So it's a little bulky, and someone said it looked a little bit like a lunchbox, maybe. And it's about the same size in terms of footprint as the actual Sky Q box, but about two times taller. So yeah, it's, you know, fairly understated, simple looking. I think it looks quite nice overall, aside from being a little bit tall. And if you are wall mounting your TV, then that height isn't really an issue. And as long as you do just check beforehand that you have at least 10 centimeters between your cabinet and your TV, you'll be fine. As for connectivity, you get two 4K capable HDMI ports, one input, one output, and an optical input. There's no ARC HDMI, unfortunately, which would allow you to use your TV remote for your soundbar. You also get a USB port, so if you've got your music on a USB stick, you can stick that in there. And of course, it also supports Bluetooth, Bluetooth 4.1. So you can wirelessly stream your music from your phone to this and use it as a wireless speaker. But what I think sets this apart from other soundbars is the integration with Sky TV. There's a few nifty features, including what Sky is calling Q Sound, which is an automatic EQ mode that senses the content you're watching and adapts the sound profile. So let's say you're watching a war movie and there's suddenly loud gunfire, the auto volume level technology will adjust it in real time so you don't have to reach for the remote to lower the volume by a couple so you're not pissing off your neighbors. It is pretty clever and it will detect when you're watching football, F1, cricket, boxing, or movies. And for everything else, it just goes back to default mode. There's also three different sound profiles you can use, including night mode, which reduces bass, kids mode to limit volume, and speech enhance. One thing that would be nice is to have some sort of display on the sound box itself so I know what input it's using or what volume it's at. Instead, it just tells you. Bluetooth, HDMI, the standard volume, but just as an audio delay mode. So that's all well and good, but the big question is, does it actually sound any good? Well, the answer is yes, actually, very good. It doesn't have a dedicated subwoofer and it is fairly compact overall, but even if it lacks a few bells and whistles, it sounds great. You get six three inch woofers and three two inch full range drivers, two at the back, one at the front, and despite its size, I'm really impressed by just how good it sounds. It produces clear, loud, and rich sound, and has a surprisingly wide sound stage, although obviously not to the same extent as a full surround sound system. Smartphones was a Blackberry. I don't remember which model now. For me, just in a sea of smartphones that are somewhat similar. So watching the World Cup, movies, F1, regular TV, 
It was a massive upgrade over my Samsung TV's built-in speakers. And versus my previous soundbar, which was the Samsung HWMS650, which to my ear handled bass and lows a little bit better, even though the Sky Soundbox goes all the way down to 35 hertz, but that soundbar costs over hundred pounds more. So yes, there are punchier, bassier soundbars out there, but the Soundbox does offer impressive mid-range and excellent voice tones, which does make it stand out. Amazon Prime Day starts July 16th. It's a day and a half of epic deal. It's just a bit of a shame there's no Dolby Atmos or even DTS support. It's just Dolby Digital Plus. So that might put some people off. So I think for me, a shorter design and an extra HDMI with ARC support and more Dolby codecs would be nice. And also there's just no way you should buy this at its full 800 pound retail price. But I think for 249 pounds or 299 if you're just a regular Sky customer, actually it's not bad value at all. And given the quality of the audio you get from this, it's actually a surprisingly good option I think. I really would definitely recommend considering it. I've put links in the description below if you wanna find out more, if you wanna actually buy one of these. And I'd love to hear what you think. Would you consider something like this? Are you a Sky TV customer? Or would you just pay maybe a little bit more and get something that's perhaps a bit more flexible and not so tied to Sky? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Jam. Thanks for watching.